welcome to the Church of St Mary the Virgin Findon in Northamptonshire on Sunday the 24th of November 2013 and we, the church service has recently finished and uh, this was the last Sunday of the church year and also the final Sunday when our organ has been played uh, so the restoration work starts this coming Wednesday on the 27th so those of you who are unfamiliar with Findon we have a rather large beautiful parish church and we'll go inside to see what it has to offer for the organist. So visitors to the church walk in and if they fail to turn left they won't see the organ but instead we'll see the uh, parish church in all its glory and then when the organist starts playing they will probably turn round and notice that we have a rather nice uh, organ that dates from around 1707, lived in uh, St George's Chapel, Windsor until 1717 when it was moved here and the coat of Queen Arms uh, is on the front pipe. So uh, from Wednesday onwards for the next couple of weeks this will be in scaffolding and the artwork on the front pipes, which is original early 18th century, will be restored. And the, um, we'll go and have a look upstairs and the pipe work cleaned and restoration uh, work done to improve the action. So going through the kitchen, the organist climbs up through the belfry. <coughs> Fortunately, there's nobody here now, so we're not interfering with anybody, but the bell ring is always here first thing in the morning. Uh, a fine set of bells. Uh, eight bells and then we slide through uh, behind the pedal pipes into the organ and into the organ console and this is the best view of the church from the organ loft and the organ console here for the first time since I've been here the entire organ loft is clear of everything ready for the work to start um, so here we go we have three manuals and pedals, um, all of which will be restored soon. And the final piece I played at the end of the service today, the last piece heard on this organ, is the Festival Fanfare by Malcolm Archer. I'll just see if I can balance this and we'll play a little bit of it. See so how it goes. Apologies if this doesn't work. This is the last time the organ will be played for about four to six months. So the phrase pull out all the stops applies. That's the last time the organ will be heard in 2013 and until somewhere a few months into 2014. So we'll close up shop and on Wednesday the organ builders will appear and start taking out pipes and so forth. Looking down the nave 
unfortunately you can't see very much uh, from the point of view of the organ but we have a replacement organ down in the choir stalls. So I spent the morning sorting out wires and things like that to connect the organ, our Viscount uh, organ, to uh, speakers. Uh, this is the inside of the back, I'm going to put the back back on in a minute. Uh, so we've connected up to speakers and this is the organ that we'll be playing for the next few months which I'm very pleased with um, the Viscount Envoy organ uh, which should just about do the trick and um, if I put that there the um, first piece that we'll be playing because it's the new year is um, the bark, I won't play at all but the bark uh, back it out for Advent Sunday which is this <laughs> stood there since 1717 when William Croft, uh, Master of the Choristers of Chapel Royal, gave the opening recital. So at some point next year we'll have our uh, reopening uh, concert to celebrate the renovation of the organ.